Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Holotrak and we are playing They Are Billions. This is going to be the first Patrons Choice series that I have on the channel. This game has been selected by my patrons over on Patreon um, for me to play. I very much appreciate anyone who is a patron of mine. Very, very many thanks. And uh, yeah, it has been suggested that I play this game blind. They Are Billions has been selected. I'm going to play at least five episodes of it. And uh, if I enjoy it, I'm going to continue the series, maybe put it to another vote for the next patron's choice. If you want to have an influence on what gets played in the next series, then you can head on over to my Patreon campaign as well. There's going to be a link in the description. All right, enough shilling. So they are billions are a, a real is a real time strategy game where zombies have taken over the earth and um, there's only a small amount of humans left. It seems to be sort of set in a steampunk world and yeah basically tons of zombie hordes and we have to try and make a living in that world protect the last couple of thousands of uninfected humans i it has been requested that i go into this blind so that's what i've done i have not played any of it i have also not really seen a lot of um videos i like watched like one or two um, so I have basically no idea what's going to happen here. Um, all I have really changed are the options so that I can properly capture it and so that the sound is fine. That's all that I have. So, okay, we'll go for a new survival game. Please write the name you wish to identify the survival game. Use different names in case you want to keep several survival games at the same time. Um, I'm going to call this Make HD Suffer because that's apparently what you guys want. <laughs> Okay, map type. The Dark Moorland. In the Dark Moorland, the terrain is very intricate as it forms gorges and small plains with rivers and pools. These terrain formations can be useful to protect the colony from the infected but will make expansion of the colony much harder. Uh, so I guess it gives us a difficulty score. Um, okay, everything else is locked. Sure. Game duration. So the longer the duration, the easier it is. Uh, medium population, just a few infected. I mean, yeah, let's leave it at 100% and then we can see if we tweak it from there. It should be fine. Let's do that. Bringing doom to civilization. Nice. When you build structures in pause mode, you can undo your actions at no cost. That's nice. Okay, hello, hello. How are things? Okay, can I pause this? Okay, spacebar is pause. Very good, very good. Um, is there no tutorial of any kind? I guess not. I guess we'll just learn it. So with rangers, they run extremely fast, can shoot their arrows with their silent bow without making much noise. Perfect for exploring the map, clearing small infected groups. Uh, we have four rangers. Can we... Okay, yeah, we'll make them into group one. What are you? Soldier. Disciplined and versatile unit can serve any purpose. That we have armor and wield a powerful submachine gun. You're going to be number two then. Um, what do we have over here? Command center. The main building of the colony. You can order the building of structures from here. If it's destroyed or infected, uh, it is game over. Okay. I get that. Mm. Always have to select something, I guess. What can you guys do? Move, stop, hold, chase. Okay. You know, we'll search and attack enemies on the map. We'll explore hidden parts of the map to chase enemies. Okay. Can set them to patrol, which is probably going to be important. And we can change the target priority. Okay. Sure. I can see how that would be useful. Um, so target priority, highest level currently. We'll attack the most powerful enemies. I guess we can also go for... Can we change that? Oh, nearest. I can go for nearest or highest. Um, nearest kind of seems better than highest at this point. I could kind of also would like to have a chance for lowest. So as to thin the herds. I guess that's fine. Mm, how do we... How do we move here? Oh, there's no WASD moving? Oh man, that sucks. So we gotta change that right away. That's not something that I want. So, keyboard layout, camera movement with arrows. Yeah, we're here. Glad they have that. Back to the game. Yeah, much better. Much better. I guess the they need the arrow keys for the for the left-handed guys. I'm not sure why they're making that standard though. It's a bit weird. Um, what else do we want to do? So we have the command center, and I guess that allows us to build dwellings. 
We have gold, we have wood, stone, iron, and oil. No production yet. We have no colonists. Five workers. 19 foot production, 30 energy production. That must all be coming from that building. Nothing else in here. I have no idea what the bars do, but we'll find out. So we can just put some tents down. Um, what is that? Looks like some... Maybe copper? Maybe copper is what we need here. Resources. Um, hunter cottage. Fisherman cottage. So I guess we got to get food. Um, energy with nothing. Oh, we don't have gold. Sure. Industry. With warehouse and a wood workshop. Um, military... Soldier center. And the defense. What do we have? Wood wall. Keeps the colony defended from nearby enemies. We're definitely going to have to plonk some of that down. And we have wood gate and wood tower. Is that nothing higher? Maybe I can research that kind of stuff. Okay. Basic dwelling for the colonists. Colonists provide gold and workers for the colony. Feels like yeah, people need some space to walk around, I guess. So maybe build some houses. Maybe that'll do. And then, I guess we'll just go explore a little bit. Actually, no. We'll just keep the group together. Went smack bang in the middle of the map. Interesting. Hmm, we have steam rising from these geothermal, so, um, or hot, hot springs. Nothing yet. No infected. Attention. Building complete. Okay, so we have a tents complete, which means we're getting some workers, I guess. Colonists, yes. And these will produce gold, I guess. Yeah, plus 217. Is it just these three? No, command center is producing 200. The tents are just producing 24. Sure. Uh, mayors of the colony. As the colony population grows, new mayors can be chosen. Here you can view the current and old mayors of the colony. What does that do? Some bonuses, maybe? Okay, one for 30 population, one for 200, one for 600, one for 1200. We can definitely deal with that. So I think tents are fine. Actually, why can't I build more tents? I don't have the gold. Okay, then. What else do we need? Like, we need resource collection, um, food production, probably. How high is our food production? Iron, oil, stone. Where's the food? Seven. We're producing seven, we're consuming 13. Yeah, that doesn't sound very sustainable. Oh, no, we still have seven available. Okay, yeah, fine. We're producing 20, actually. Moving on up. Is this just closed off? That actually looks really good. Um, seems like we don't have to fear anything coming from that area for a while. Um, seems that the zombies are actually being alerted by noise. So I guess we've got to be a little bit careful. Oh, there are, there are some... Some zombies. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. I wonder if uh, it's a risk cleaning them out, or if I is, if that is actually something that I have to do. Yes. No idea. Okay. So now we have a, a ton of gold, which means we can actually start doing things. Resources. Fisherman cottage, sawmill produces wood from surrounding trees. Seems like a good idea. Oi! Why? Why is that not a thing? Building doesn't have energy access in that area. Why not? I mean, okay, cancel that then. Quarry, this gives us collect minerals like stone, iron, gold from surrounding mineral seams. Um, I guess these are, those are those surface veins. Let's put a fisherman cottage down here for now. This should produce some food, I guess. Okay, let's go back, and we do have an energy thing. Yeah, over here, energy. So we can put down a Tesla tower. Can I see the energy range? Okay, so we're just not reaching up here. That seems to be a bit of a waste to put a tower down, but whatever. Um, sure, sure, sure. I kind of want to defend the area. How much wood do I have? I only have 10 wood, so wood production seems to come first. What? Are there other units to buy? Guys! Um, okay. No. Don't be that aggressive. So we have a swarm over here. Interesting. Good to know. What's that? Are you sure? Oh, we can, we can actually collect some goodies on the... Whoa! 
I'd rather you didn't. At least these guys are quiet. Okay, more surface stuff, another swarm up here. So we're basically surrounded. Okay, we're done with the fisherman cottage. Are we also done with the Tesla Tower? We are. So let's go ahead and build some little sawmill. Could you not? Okay, so we seem to be like, uh, seems to look like we can place two of them. Do we need two sawmills? Not enough resources to build that structure, sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a lot of them. I wonder, uh, will these guys keep following us indefinitely? That's going to be interesting to find out, I guess. And building the hunter's cottage seems kind of risky. Uh, we, have, we have a ton of guys right next to us. I'm not overly happy with that. Let's have a look down here. Whoa! <laughs> It is definitely, like, it has a, a creepy feel to it. Okay, we've got our sawmill. So, producing 12 wood. This does not seem anywhere near enough. We probably have, like, we need to build. If it's anything like other buildings, uh, like other games, then... Okay, right, we've got to wait for the gold. Just a, just a tad, though. Just a, a, a bit. Okay, oh, no, 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 no. That is, like, a, a big group. Will these guys automatically attack? I think they will. I think they will. I have no idea what, what the intelligence level of these zombies is. Guess we'll find out. Yeah, they're coming closer, though. Bow and arrow seems to be the default and trusted weapon for this. Hmm. Right, well, we, we'll let these guys sit there for a while. And uh, let's actually go ahead, get that second sawmill up and running. Where did you come from? What are you? Oh, you, you're a, a woodsman. All right, then. Sure. What? Oh, God damn it! Did I place that wrong? Oh, yeah, it seems to have a range where they can get wood. That does suck a bit. All right then. Place it over here. Get another ten wood. Seems good in terms of income. Uh, I'm getting no stone. Production zero every hour. Do we need to get stone? Sawmill we have. Fisherman cottage. Hunter cottage. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll just put these down. Must be placed next to a water source. Location is inaccessible. Select a free area. What? What is your problem, man? We have that next to a water source. Oh, yeah, okay. It's, there's a building in the same area already. How big is your area? Like this. Okay, and then we're probably outside of our grid. Sure. Um, no. I mean, our grid actually goes quite far. Maybe we should just start removing that kind of stuff. Do we want a barracks here? Um, seems pretty expensive. We need some more workers too. Uh, we have wood. So why don't we actually start like, closing off some of this area? Actually, can we, can we stop that? We're I guess I can superimpose a, a wall over this. It's ten wood. Come on, guys, get cracking. Don't have forever. What? Hmm. It feels like we have to kind of clear out these guys as we see our colony grow bigger. All right then. So still not enough for the structure. A new task. Great. Okay. Let's have a look down. I doubt that we're going to be able to clear all these hordes out. Yeah, we can actually move over those. So that's the thing. Keep that soldier back home, defending. Okay, finally, wood production is up. That's good. So, wooden gate. Use tab for rotating. 
Sure. So we'll, we'll put the gate down here. That's nice. And we'll start just walling ourselves off for now. Guess they can't pass through there. Okay, they can't. Beautiful. Now oh, they can't even use the buildings that I put down directly. I Maybe we'll actually start cleaning out that group down here so I can wall myself off. Take these guys out. Okay. Sure, why not? I'm getting food. Um, do we have a, f a food storage? Doesn't really look like it. I mean, I guess it gets consumed right away. Stone, we have some stone. We have no oil whatsoever. I have no idea how the oil um, actually looks on the map. Like what would um, indicate that there is some oil? It's probably all underground units inside are protecting and extend their watch and attack range. Ah, uh, we could put a tower up here. Is that something that you put inside? It feels like it. So maybe we'll put that tower over there. And put our only soldier in. Getting a bunch of wood now. I like it. Um, maybe we can build a barracks too. Like if I had more hunters, I would probably be able to dispatch these guys in the south. Military. Not enough workers. So I guess we're going to put down some more tents. That should also give us a bunch of colonists. More gold income. It's all kind of nice. Just don't want to overextend our food production. I guess the soldiers will also eat. Must be a thing. I don't want to use a soldier unless I absolutely have to. But let's put him into that tower. Okay. Very good. I like that. Um, definitely want to close that area over there too. Right. So we have enough workers now. Sure. So we can either get this guy, Taurus Slink, to survive is one thing, to thrive is another. Major Slink understands sacrifice brings reward. Gives us plus one action range, plus one view range on the rangers. Or this gives us the Great Ballista. Shooting for the stars. With Major Pettigrew, he will at least shoot some infected. I think we'll go for the rangers. I really like the idea of that. So our rangers have more view range. And I guess it can also shoot further. Attack range, speed, armor, attack damage, attack speed, yeah. So, how's that a thing? Oh, we're still missing stone. Okay, where do I get stone? I'm guessing this is the stone. Which means we have no resources whatsoever inside our base. That doesn't make me too happy. Uh, apparently we can only store that much wood. That doesn't make me happy either. There's a mill, generates energy. Still fine in terms of energy, I think. The Tesla Tower just expands the energy range. Okay, got it. Mm. Is there a way to rotate the map? Oh. Why does a wooden wall need access to energy? I mean, I guess I don't care. We'll just go ahead. Do that. Mm. Defense. Oh yeah, we've got to wait until that tower is being built. Sure. We'll come down here and start clearing out some of those guys. Straight to the heart. Let's, let's take him out. Will they do it on their own? We don't have any backup here. Patrol, attack. Is under attack. What yes. the hell? My bow is Attention. ready. Building what? completed. Let me put an arrow in his head. Chase my arrow. Oh no, they infected our building. Great. You again. Okay. Could we not? Do we have to destroy this? It's disabled because it's infected. It must be repaired. Okay, repair it then. Eliminate the infection. Yeah, we definitely need um, like a close-off settlement in all directions before we expand any further. That seems to be a thing. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Yeah, these guys are apparently mercenaries from what I've seen on the Steam page. Uh, if I were to put another sawmill down over here, I would get some wood out of it. But I don't think wood production is a problem at the moment, so... 
right over here. What kind of annoys me is... That I can't really rotate the camera. That's a bit of a um, unnice thing. Okay, well the second one. Actually cancel and put a gate here. That's fine. We probably might also want to put a tower up there. Okay, sure. We don't have a second guy that we can put in the tower, but it's not a problem. Okay, now all we gotta do is go south, remove those guys. I'm not expecting anything from up north anymore. Food is fine, energy is fine. Doing okay. This guy got smushed. Okay, let's just try to take out that horde so that I can get these resources under my thumb. I'm guessing this is iron, this is stone. I want to be able to... Holy hell. We might bite off more than we can chew here. Come on, guys. No dawdling. We can always run away. Like, we're faster than they are, I guess. I'm guessing there are more types of them. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess so. Let's go ahead and put another Tesla tower down here. There's nothing happening over there. Really want someone to work that thing. Military is still not going to happen. Stone. We need a quarry. So the quarry... Oh no! Is this stone? Really? I mean, okay then. I'm not going to complain. Stone is probably something that I need more than iron. Really? Over here? Yeah. Over there. I guess we're just going to leave one ranger in there. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pay you for this, sure. Okay, let's keep let's keep one ranger in there. I'm actually also thinking about putting another one down here, but maybe not right now. Uh, although, do we need to extend our range? It kind of feels like that might be something that we have to do. We'll do something like this. Because um, that'll give us all the surrounding area. Saving game stage, sure. Why not? Um, so, no wall building opportunity right now. We should be getting some stone now, which is nice. Almost at the max for gold. Maximum storage 2000, maximum storage 50. I guess I have to keep building. Not sure why we can only store 50 wood, but. Who am I to judge? Enemies are too close to this location. Okay, I get it. Okay, let's do this. It's interesting that the woods are actually like a hard defense. We need some gates, but I guess we'll leave it like that for now. Don't think there's a way that anyone can get through. It's not a free area to build, which means I don't I don't think they're gonna be able to get past it. So that's good. Um, both of the walls have been built. Come on, I need more I need more wood. Make it happen. Okay. Um, tab. Do we want access to that area? I mean, yeah, pretty much. The the gates are always the weakness in structures like that. Oh yeah, we have that problem over here as well. Should have probably put a ranger in there instead of a uh, soldier, because that might that might actually pull more unwanted attention. Yeah, I guess we'll have to. I guess we'll have to here. Might not be necessary over here. We might be able to get around it. But then again, meh. We'll be fine. We'll put... Put a tower here. Put a tower here. And once these are finished, we only have one ranger left, but that's fine. We should be able to recruit more now. Military, still not enough. Oh yeah, because we don't have enough workers. So let's start ahead and we don't have enough food for the tents. Sure, sure. You can see how that, how that works. Food. Okay, that'll give me 12 additional food. Very nice. 
Hmm, yeah, I, actually, I'm not happy that he is making the sound. I'm happy that he's making the sound that he's making. Might not be all that helpful. Yeah, there are definitely more coming, and more and more. Okay, let's put a ranger in here. Let's put a ranger in here. Oh, holy hell. Holy hell, that's not good. Although, I mean, we might just be able to pick him off. Okay, we have another fisherman's cottage. Let's go ahead plonk a couple more buildings down. I really gotta take care of that people can still walk through, though. Oh, that is an oil pool. Okay, okay. Yeah, learn something new every day. We're done with the defenses here. Resources, industry and trade. And we can build a warehouse, which allows us to store more. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Increases the resource production of surrounding buildings. That's really cool. I gotta say. So, we still need more workers. How do I get more workers? Tent. Okay. I guess the, the tents only provide a certain amount. Uh, how do we want to do this? Squeeze some into that into that corner. Sure. Not enough resources. I guess I gotta wait. What am I waiting for here? Not enough resources. Food. Okay, yeah, we need more food production. Sure. Um, can we actually put a hunter's cottage? Doesn't seem to be too overwhelmingly good, but might as well plonk down some. Ooh, that's a lot of food to be had. I guess because um, the woods and stuff. So they can run off into there. Let's drop another hunter's cottage over here. Maybe even 12, that's 14. I think 14 is best. And then maybe down here. I think I have the feeling that we're gonna need a lot of food. Then again, I also have the feeling that we need a lot of wood. So maybe we'll actually don't have enough energy for the sawmill. Okay, kind of reaching our capacity there. Do we wanna put down a, a mill? This looks like a good spot. Let's do it. Should be connected to all the other stuff. I guess those Tesla towers are just pulling... Pulling the energy from afar. So what does that thing do? What is what is the bar that ticks up? Hmm. Workers. Workers. I should be able to build more tents. And indeed I can. Yeah, put one more down here. How many of these tents can I build? I have not enough resources. I need more workers. I really want to build those barracks so that I can have more people defending our area. Damn it! I gotta, I gotta pull that soldier out of that, um, out of that tower. I think he's just, he's doing not the, not the, not the greatest job, dude. Unload the soldier. Whatever. Get out of there. Get in. Okay, so now we have the bow, which means we have sort of a silent defense. Not quite as effective, but should maybe keep the unwanted attention down. At least that's what I'm hoping. What are you doing? Costing some gold, producing some energy, some view range, some defensive barriers. Okay. Hmm. Finally! Okay, so now we can build the barracks. Been looking forward to that for quite a while. Where do we put you though, buddy? There? Over here? Can we even march through then? Is that something that we can do? Can we build so close to other buildings? Mm. Are they still going to be able to pass? I only see them walking in open tiles, so maybe that's not the best idea. I um, guess there's only one way to find out. We're gonna use our soldier. Put them, put them over here. So he can't walk into the into the tents. We can walk up very close to the mill. Right. I so I'm I'm guessing actually. I mean, live and learn. We're just gonna put the military building down here and hope that we can still get down there. Yeah. Not sure. 
Oh yeah, so we got our defenses up. We got our military building coming up very soon. Looking good. Um, so we're doing okay so far. We have not attracted any unwanted attention. Um, let's see how it goes. For now, though, I guess I have to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can leave a like. Um, if you didn't like it, then please tell me in the comments why. Also, if you have any helpful tips, tricks, thoughts, then uh, let me know in the comments. It's very interesting to play a game like completely blind that I haven't played before at all. <laughs> Definitely an interesting experience. And uh, yeah, hope I see you guys in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.